we have an extraordinary piece of uh, campaign craft going on here. I mean, campaign consultants become very, very sophisticated at creating and packaging a narrative and uh, finding kind of what they call in politics a horse, good piece of horse flesh to deliver it. And that always, uh, you know, that, 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 that long predates uh, the, 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 you know, putting on, you know, sort of these girly, girly, smiley, you know, sort of uh, front people. Uh, and, you know, what you have to respect is, and what Coons has to respect, is that delivering a coherent story with a beginning, a middle, and an end that, uh, that is something that ordinary voters who don't, you know, read blogs every day and don't watch CNN every day can respond to is how you win an election. Now, she's not going to win the election that, the, you know, there's just kind of the structures uh, that are in place are, are, are not there for it. And she's just you know, been effectively framed as extreme, but look at the strategy she was putting out there. I'm an ordinary person. These Democrats, they used to be normal like us, and now they're extreme. Well, what's the narrative that the Democrats are putting out in its place? Uh, when it comes to narrative, in a lot of ways, the Democrats have unilaterally disarmed of the last generation. The strongest thing a Democrat can say that a Republican cannot say, oh, I agree, is uh, we're gonna sock it to the rich, uh, we are going to help ordinary Americans with their everyday economic struggles. And, you know, ever since Jimmy Carter, you know, basically in his 1977 State of the Union said, you know, the age of big government is over and government can't help people, uh, you know, become more prosperous. The Democrats just kind of cut off their nose despite their face. So it's very hard to respond to a well-packaged Republican uh, commodity like uh, Christine O'Donnell revealed she is.